Hey, I'm Nick. Let's make some cookies. So, I'm using the classic creaming method of butter and sugar. You want to make sure it's nice and fluffy. Give me things to say, dude. Yeah, I should have learned from that when I'm about to make the sprinkles <laughs> later on, <laughs> and you'll see it. Um, make sure it's nice and fluffy, and then you add your eggs and vanilla. I'm actually mixing the flour and dry ingredients and putting the third into parchment paper, so that way I don't have to try to force the bowl into the stand mixer. Smart. There goes my extract, my eggs. What the extract are you talking about? Vanilla extract. Okay. Which is actually just booze and vanilla. Here goes my third of my dry mix. Make sure you're on this low so you don't get it all over the kitchen. Do you? Well, yeah, no. Make sure to scrape down the sides and now add in your mix sauce. I'm going to go add in candy ginger and candy lemon zest that I made myself. Be sure to refrigerate your dough for at least an hour before baking. So, Lau's doing the procedure correctly, adding her butter and sugar to cream, but then she adds her cocoa powder. Beat the eggs. Add a vanilla extract. What's happening in your stand mixer? And inhale all the powder that's coming out from the stand. It's getting everywhere. <laughs> Mix the salt and the baking powder. Dude, so you're going to have to clean this up. I, I don't want to clean this up. <laughs> Keep inhaling the coconut the Are you going to scrape down the powder? sides? Or are you? Okay. Just making sure. <laughs> Keep watching it and inhaling it. Or at least you didn't go super fast on the egg. We'd have an egg all over the kitchen, too. Chocolate omelets. You can see the powder when it comes. <laughs> Nick was here. Nick's <laughs> trying to correct me. Well, someone's got to. Mm -hmm. Mixing and mixing and mixing and mixing. Well, what are you going for when you're mixing that? Oh, you need to mix it? Well, yeah, but are you trying to get a certain fluffiness, or are you not trying to mix too hard? I mean, you gotta tell me. That's just a medium mix, uh, like a medium, medium. Well, that looks pretty good. It looks like brownie batter. <laughs> At but least like... it mixed together after all those powder going everywhere. It's like mix, chocolate mix, chunks. Mix the chocolate chunks. Mix, 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 mix. Da 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 da. Throwing pistachios in the food processor. You don't want to turn them into pistachio butter, so just enough to get them really small pieces. This is actually a recipe from Claire Sappitz. You can find it on New York Times Magazine. Throwing in some butter, some some uh, powdered sugar. It doesn't is matter it? if you have pistachio in there, it's okay. It's there goes the almond ac extract, a little bit of salt. Adding, adding in the, the all-purpose, a little bit at a time, make sure it doesn't get clumps. Put two-thirds of it in a bowl. Claire, you are the best. This recipe rocks. My wife can't stop eating the cookies. I love them. Like now throwing pistachios back in the, in the mixer to get it incorporated with a little bit of the dough that's left. I'm going to roll this out onto some parchment in just a second after I incorporate the almond flour. Oh, did you specify what kind of sugar? Is it granulated sugar or confectioner sugar? It's confectioner sugar. Because okay. normally they use granulated sugar, and this one is a special one, which is confectioner. Yeah. Super fine sugar. I went for about an 8 by 12. Granted, I didn't actually measure it. You can if you want to. Uh, you can also use a little sheet to have it. You can find one and just roll it into that, which I've done a couple times. Pulling it out of the refrigerator, you want to refrigerate for at least an hour. Half hour if that's all the time you have, I guess, but putting the pistachio mix on top, spreading it out evenly. Granted, I rolled this the wrong direction. You want to go 
make it as you want to make it as wide as possible because you're trying to get as many cookies out of it as possible. This one ended up being a little bit fat. Nice and even mixture. You can use the, the parchment to roll and then pull in with your fingertips. If anybody knows how to roll a joint, you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> See, this guy's a little bit too fat. Granted, they didn't end up making bigger cookies. I'm using a little bit of green decorative sugar, just to, because it's festive. To represent the green of pistachio. Oh yeah. I'll pop it in the freezer, let it cool off so I can bake it in the morning. Here I'm rolling out the lemon ginger cookies. You can make them anywhere between one to two ounces. These ones are about two ounces, and we decided afterwards that they were a little bit too big for the boxes we ended up putting them in. Here I'm slicing them into rounds, putting no more than eight pieces on each tray. They take about 10 to 12 minutes. I found that if you don't have a convection oven, that works. If you have a convection oven, I wouldn't do any more than about nine minutes. It turned out really good. Kind of like a almondy, pistachio-y shortbread cookie. Thanks for watching our video. <laughs> oh, you shot it. These are the leftover cookies. And crinkles. Make sure to get your orders next time. Bye.